Not many of us choose to live the life of a policeman or woman. Most join and serve for the right reasons. They are on duty to preserve and protect human life and to enforce the laws that do so. When not on duty, they remain always on call, ready to respond and jump into action at a moment's notice should the need arise. Often it does. And when that call comes in, the officer must be prepared to make instant life and death decisions, which all too often may impact his or her own life. It is under these circumstances that a patrol officer must decide with split-second reactions how best to defuse a tense situation or coax truth out of an unresponsive perpetrator or witness. Occasionally, the officer resorts to a long-standing tactic known at the police station as a ruse. He releases bits of misinformation with the greater good and a better outcome in mind. The practice does not always work. More than once, it has backfired leading to heartbreaking consequences, up to and including suicide. After that happened in Seattle, new police department rules were imposed, strictly limiting the dissemination of ruses by patrol officers. The Fox News app cites the Seattle Police Department's new ruse guidelines as follows. For de-escalation, to calm or provide comfort to a person, or to promote the safety of any person, for scene management, or to bring potentially violent situations to a peaceful resolution. There are five more regulations for Seattle policemen to call to mind whenever they find themselves in a hair trigger situation. And it's just one more reason why the people of Seattle should understand and appreciate the difficult scenarios faced by their men and women in blue. Our job at Restoring Justice US is to prevent history from repeating itself. Learn more of what we are doing and how you can help.